The Rugby Championship is here. The greatest rugby tournament alive, bar the Rugby World Cup, it's here. The All Blacks opened their Rugby Championship campaign versus Argentina, Los Pumas at Sky Stadium in Wellington. And here's what I think the All Blacks starting 15 is going to look like. Before we get to that, you're probably thinking, what's a South African talking about rugby or about All Blacks rugby? Leave your bias at the door, man. I'm here to talk about rugby, love rugby, and rugby will always stay the main thing, regardless of who I support and the result. It's all about the rugby, man. So here is my predicted squad. Obviously, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, I love hearing from you guys. Let me know what you think. Who would you have in the squad? Who wouldn't you? Hit that subscribe while you're there. and Let's get into it. So obviously, a few fitness questions, like, Player fitness question, Scott Barrett. Apparently was a finger surgery, so I'm guessing that's a couple weeks. So I'm going with that. I don't have any intel on that. I'm going off All Blacks Instagram. They said there was a surgery and they haven't given a timeline on his return. Um, but he has been included in the squad, so I'm not too sure there. But man, unless they chop the finger off and he's just good to go, I think he'll be out for a couple of weeks. So keep that in mind. Number nine, there's also a question mark around there, around TJ's fitness, but I'm going to presume, is that the right word, that he's fit and raring to go. All right, so keep that in mind. So here's my team. All Blacks predicted starting XV against Los Pumas. Let's go. Ethan DeGroot, Cody Taylor, and Tyrell Lomax up front. Tupovai and Patrick Tuipulotu in the locks. Back row of Sammy Penny, Finau, Dalton Papali'i, and Adi Savia. Then 9 and 10 of TJ Peronara and Damien McKenzie. Center pairing of Jordy Barrett and Billy Proctor. And then back three of Mark Talia, Sevu Reese, and Stephen Perofeta. On the bench, Asafa Omoa, Ofa Tonga Fasi, Fletcher Newell, Sam Derry, Ethan Blackadder, Cortez Ratima, Bowden Barrett, and Anton Leonard Brown. Good team, good team. What do you think? Let me know in the comments as always. Who did I miss? Who would you have in? Do I know anything about rugby? Let me know in the comments and let's get to the reasons why I've picked them. All right, front row. De Groot, Taylor, Lomax. Guys, these guys started versus England, did really, really well. The scrums, the set piece around the park and didn't do anything to be dropped. They were really good when they got the opportunities. Like I said, good at scrum time, uh, strong defensively, and good with ball carries as well. Um, Cody Taylor, there's a maybe a, a switch there with Almoa, with Almoa to start, but I just think that, that the impact Almoa brings off the bench is scary, man. And, and we've seen how rugby has evolved and how important the bench is. The bench can be sometimes just as important as the starting Lineup. We see that with the Springboks, the bomb squad, how important they are to the Springbok setup. More and more teams are utilizing their bench, and their bench is just as good as the starters. So I think that front row of DeGroote, Taylor, and Lomax keep their spots there. For the locks, again, Scott Barrett, I don't know what's happening there. I'm going that he's injured. He's going to take a couple of weeks to get right from his surgery. So I've gone... Locks, I've gone Tupo Vai and Patrick Tui Pulotu. Um, Vai and Paddy Toops, man, they'll be, up, they'll be up for it and up against it. Like I said, I've said it in a lot of uh, videos I've done recently about the All Blacks that while the All Blacks line out, is, it's okay. It's fine. We saw against Fiji, it can fire. But against the bigger teams or stronger nations, they will look to attack the All Blacks line out. Um, and it's obviously something the All Blacks are aware of and they'll have to figure out. And, uh, but I think, I think they'll be fine. But just know that these boys are going to have to put their hand up and like literally, figuratively and literally speaking, put their hand up at the lineouts to get um, their own ball. Back row. So I've gone with Samapeni Finau, Dalton Papali'i and Adi Savia. I think with Finau, so there's a, there's a few question marks here, but with Finau, I think he's just, it's like this is your last chance sort of thing. I think Razor, yes, when Razor's been cutthroat on some um, decisions he's made and some selections, I do think Finau gets the last shot at that sixth jersey because there's a lot of back rowers 
in the squad and not even in the squad that are chomping at the bit to get there. They are frothing at the mouth. Give me a, a, a starting spot, especially with guys like Sam Kane coming back into the picture. Wallace Atiti's there. You got Jacobson, uh, Blackadder. Like there's a lot of guys that want to that want to get in there and want to crack at that loose that back three, not back three that back row. So I think last 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 chance for for now. Um, and then you look at Papali'i and Savia, they, they pick themselves, man. Um, they've been great every opportunity they get. I don't think they've done anything to, like, Adi Savia, no ways. You can maybe have an argument for Papali'i, but I also don't think you can. He's in there. He's in there. He's in there. But I do know that the other boys are pushing hard for those spots. Your Jacobsons, Satiti, Sam Kane, those guys are really gunning, Blackadder gunning for a position in that starting lineup. Nine and 10, so TJ Perinara and Damien McKenzie. So Damien McKenzie for me is a sure thing. He's in there. He's out, He's the 10. He's the All Blacks 10. He's given the keys to the country, like lead us around the park. He's the coordinator. He's the conductor. He's the quarterback. Do your thing. The question mark is at nine. Okay, firstly with TJ's fitness, is he is he ready to go? They haven't said anything else. He's been included in the squad. So I'm guessing he's, I'm going with that, that he is raring to go and ready to go. Um, but then you have your guys like Ratima and Hotham really, really banging on that door. What they bring with their running game, their, their quickness of delivery. TJ's got that as well, but these guys are really, really chomping at their ankles um, for that. And if TJ isn't ready, I don't mind seeing Ratima to start and Hotham on the bench. But there is a world where I see Ratima starting and Pernara on the bench. What do you guys, what do you think there? That's a, that's a question mark there for me. Then the center pairing, I've gone with Jordy Barrett and Billy Proctor. That Hurricanes link up. That Hurricanes link up. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. So Jordy for me is a shoe in. He's in. You back him in there. He's great for first for All Blacks first phase. Uh, he's great on defense and he's got a huge boot. So he brings that other kicking option into it. For th- at 13, I really want Proctor to start. Um he's he's on he's on Ioane's bumper. It's like Ioane's got the green light but he hasn't gone yet or he's not going fast enough and Billy Proctor is just slamming that hooter, that horn. Burr, burr, burr. I'm here, boy. Give me that 13 jersey. But I could also see a world where Razor goes, Yuane, this is your last, your last chance sort of thing as well. But I'm going with Jordi and Proctor. My back three, Mark Talia, Sevu Reese and Steven Perofeta. It worked versus England. Yes, they've got a few things they need to work on there defensively, um, taking the high balls because England scored two tries on Talia. Um, so defensively, that's something to work on. And then when you've got guys like Caleb Clark playing really good footy, Will Jordan's been included in the squad. Ruben Love is in there as well. Uh, really, really putting pressure on these guys' spots. And that's what you want in the squad. You don't want guys to walk into their team like, yep, I've got the, I've got the position it's my jumper. No one's putting pressure on me. You want that competitive edge within the squad, putting pressure on the guys week in, week out. You know you have to perform or someone's taking your spot, man, and it's going to take a while for you to get it back because these guys are raring to go. They want their positions back, and it's it's good to see that depth within the squad. And really, it does this – Have bringing Ruben Love in, I did speak about it with my um, All Blacks fly-off depth – uh, video I did last week. Well, if like Damien McKenzie gets injured, what do they do there? Um, so they've named Bowden Barrett as a reserve fly off and they've brought Will Jordan in and Ruben Love. And it just adds depth to that fullback spot and taking pressure off Bowden Barrett. Like he can he can be the backup 10 or put pre- start putting pressure on DMAC because I don't care how old Barrett is, he's a professional rugby player playing at the highest level. You want to be starting. You're gun- yes, you want to do what's best for the team, but you want to start, man. You want to start. You're not putting in all that effort just to sit on the bench happily. Again, you'll do what's best for the team, but you want to start, man. So Barrett putting pressure 
on DMAC for his spot. And then you've got guys like Will Jordan, Ruben Love going for Steven Perofetto's spot. And, and even Will Jordan, I know Razor said that Will Jordan is a fullback that can play wing. There's still that option there, man, for him to be in on the wing. So Bench have gone with a 5-3 five, five, split. I don't see changes um, happening in the backup front row or at lock position. They've only named a certain amount of locks and Scott Barrett's got the question mark around him. Um, and then I could see Kane or Jacobson maybe coming in for Blackadder. Sorry, a bit of kids chaos in the background. I could see Kane or Jacobson coming in for Blackadder there. Maybe even Satiti at a, at a, at a sniff. Who knows? Like I said, the depth in the back row is crazy good at the moment. So anyone could go in there and do an absolute job. The backs to be used for sure, Ratima or Hotham or Peronara, whoever's going to start on the bench for at nine. And then Barrett covers pretty much the whole back line and Anton Leonard-Brown covers the rest. What do you guys think? Again, let me know in the comments. I want to hear what you guys think. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.